Hey, what is up guys? It's Brennan here and today I'm going to be showing you how to add variants on Shopify. So how to create multiple different variations for a given product in your Shopify store. This is particularly great for clothing stores, jewelry, anything where you may have multiple different size options, color options, and different things that your customer needs to be able to select for a specific product, especially when there are, well, multiple variations of of a specific product. So that's what we're going to be diving into here in today's video. As you can see quickly here on this little example, we have a watch. As you can see, you can select a band size such as small, medium, or large, or even a different color option from black, blue, or red. So we're going to be diving into all the different ways that you can manipulate variants in your Shopify store, as well as an additional option or way that you could kind of get around the variant limitations within Shopify. So that's what we're be diving into here in today's video and before we dive into things I do want to mention if you don't already have a Shopify store you can go and check out that first link down in the description box below that's brennanvaleski.com forward slash Shopify that will take you right over to a Shopify free trial we can get started with Shopify for free today again that's that first link down in the description box below and without further ado let's go ahead and dive into the tutorial so of course you're going to want to make sure that you are logged into your Shopify store we're going to be creating a variation from scratch so all you have to do to do that is go over here to the products tab and click on products next you're going to select add product and then you're going to go ahead and add your product so for this example we're going to be using uh, some women's pants so we're going to go ahead and add the image here first so you can get an idea of what it looks like so we're going to go ahead and add the image so as you can see here so we're going to go ahead and type in women's um, pink pants so women's pink pants, probably add an apostrophe there. So we've got women's pink pants, right? So as you can see here, that is the product. As you can see the product category pants. And then all you have to do once you've added that, we're gonna add like a little price here. Uh, let's go with uh, $62 uh, for the price. We're gonna go ahead and click save there. And so once you've added a product, then you go ahead and scroll all the way down here, pass your inventory down to options. So this is how you add your variants and variations to a product. You're gonna select options. This product has options like size or color. Now, one thing to keep in mind when you are adding your variants and your variations to a product is that Shopify does have a limitation of 100 variants for a product. Now, I'm gonna be diving into some ways that you can get around that as well without using any third-party apps uh, from the Shopify app store, sort of. it's it, There is a way to do it with a Shopify app um, from Shopify themselves. So we're gonna be diving into a little bit of that later. If you have more than 100 variants for a product, say for maybe you have a lot more options that you need to create for your shop. Um, there are ways to do that. We'll be diving into that later in today's tutorial. And also keep in mind that each product can have up to three options. So bear that in mind as well. One product could use like size, color, and style. Another one could use weight, finish, and material. Just giving you a few different ways that you could manipulate your variants. So for, and I'll leave a link as well to this page, this uh, Shopify Help Center page in the description as well if you wanna read more about the details of adding variants in your Shopify store. So once you have selected the options section, for this one, obviously this is a pair of clothing pants, so we're gonna obviously add some sizes. So we have size, so we'll do size. So the option values will go small, uh, small, medium, medium and large. Now it's adding capital there. So large and uh, let's do XL as well. So we'll go done. So we've got small, medium, large, XL. That's a size option. Uh, so you can add multiple different options in here. And then once you've added your options, your variants, then it will create the variants drop down here uh, where you can edit specific details for each variant. Now, you can choose to upload a custom image for each different product variation. Obviously, sizes, you don't necessarily really need to upload uh, a different 
product image for each different size. Of course, you can, depending on the very in variation that you have selected, uh, you can also edit the pricing uh, specifically for each different variation as well in here. Uh, you also have your inventory, what's on hand and what's available. Uh, you can also set specific SKUs and barcodes, which is great for inventory management of each of the different product variants that you have for a specific product. So we have size listed right now. You can also add, you know, again, up to three different options. So we're going to add another option here. Now, as you add more options, it infinitely then it, you know, compounds and creates a lot of more variations that you have to consider when you're managing your products and trying to make sure you don't hit that 100 limit. So adding another option name, we'll go with, so we've got size, and then you could also do color, material, style. You know, we're actually just gonna stick with size for now since we just have the one color for this product. So we'll stick with just size for now. But again, you can easily add up to three there, um, depending on the type of product that it is. And then all you have to do is then click save. And then this product will now have those variants uh, added to it. Now, there is another way to edit these variants as well uh, called the bulk editor, which is a great way to edit a lot of these variations at once. So to do that, all you have to do is click this blue checkbox here, and then it, you can click open bulk editor. This is great if you're adding really like, you know, 60 different variations for a product. All you have to do is click open bulk editor. This is a great way to edit things at scale, almost like a spreadsheet. As you can see here, we got women's pink pants, small, medium, large, XL. If you add multiple different um, colors, for example, or maybe if you had different material options, that would then scale down the row here in these columns in the list for editing all these different variants. And you can edit the compare at pricing, uh, pricing and your SKUs all in here inside the bulk editor. This is a great way to edit when you have a lot of variants on your products. So we're gonna go ahead and click exit and we're gonna go ahead and preview this product here on the product page. So as you can see here, of course, this list is sold out. We don't have any inventory, but this is what it would look like. You have your size options, small, medium, large, XL, and your customers can easily select that and it will change the variant uh, based on what they select when they go to check out in your store. So that's one way to go about adding your variants in Shopify. The other way that you can go about doing this is by utilizing the related products section uh, within Shopify. Now, I have a complete other tutorial. I'll leave a link to that in the description if you want to go about doing it this way in case you have more variants than what the typical limitations are within Shopify. Again, right now it is up to a hundred. So if you want to get around that, um, one way that you could do that is to sort of utilize the related products. Now I just put out another tutorial. Again, I will leave a link to that in the description on how to implement this in your store. And I will show you a couple of examples right here, uh, how you could implement this as well. But basically you could set your other variants to show here in the related products or the complementary product section. If you wanted to keep, maybe you just have your size options listed as you could see, and then maybe you link out to other colors in that little widget here uh, inside this box, you could link out to your other colors. Uh, that's one way to get around the variance. And maybe that's just a better way for you to organize your store and your inventory management. It really depends on your Shopify store. Uh, a big Shopify store that actually utilizes this is Gymshark. So Gymshark, as you can see here, they have their select a size listed. So you've got uh, XL, small, medium, large, XL, XXL. So again, if, and then you have all your color options for these women's leggings listed here. Now, so you could pretty much accomplish the same sort of look and feel, generally speaking, utilizing this method here um, by linking out to the other color options. And this will help with variant management so that you're not going over the limits. And it, it's just a little bit easier maybe to manage yourself as well, just because if you really do have that many different colors of a pair of pants, um, you know, if you were to multiply that by all these different sizes, it would get a bit challenging to manage that all within the bulk editor. Oftentimes you're going to go over that hundred limit very easily and quickly. So this is a way to get around that. 
Um, you can, as you can see, you, you, we've selected this color. You could click on here, and it will take you over to the other product page um, that then lists the same leggings but in a different color. And then they just have their variants based on the sizes, like I showed you here with the women's pink pants. So if you had multiple different pairs of pants, uh, and you just link out to the different colors that way. Uh, another store, for example, is this Farfetch one. As you can see, it's listed as also available in. So you've got those different color options there. Um, you could probably just barely see them right there. They're kind of small here, but you've got pink and yellow. So if you select the pink one, this is currently the blue version of the shirt, and then it will take you over to the pink one. You could still select a size here on this page. So that's another alternative way to do it. Again, I will leave a link to that related products, complimentary products tutorial in the description if you're interested in utilizing variants that way if you have quite a large collection and you need to get over that limit but really it is pretty simple to add just some basic variations to your products again you can add custom images to each of them as i showed you down here in the variants you can open the bulk editor and do that as well and really there's a lot of flexibility with the different variant options that you can add for your store and it's very important obviously if you're selling things that have different variations such as sizing um, or material or color, especially size and color really. Those are probably the most popular ones. It's gonna pop up here with these little pills. Um, of course, there's different ways you can edit the way that the pills look as well uh, in your Shopify theme settings, but in general, that's how you add variants to your Shopify store and a cool little uh, way to get around the variant limitations by utilizing that method there. Again, I'll leave a link to that tutorial in the description if you're interested in doing it that way, but that's what it would look like, generally speaking, uh, with that section there. So guys, I hope you found this video helpful on how to add variants to your Shopify store. Again, if you don't already have a Shopify store, I do want to mention you can check out that first link down in the description box below. That's brennanvaleski.com forward slash Shopify. We'll take you right over to a Shopify free trial. We're going to start with Shopify for free today. Again, that's that first link down in the description box below. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, and the notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload new video. But anyway, guys, that is all for today's video. So I will see you in the next one. Peace out.